Hey, it's your girl. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode with yours truly. Thanks. First, I would like to tell you guys to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, please. That means the world to me. Well, I wanted to introduce you guys to someone new who's going to be teaching the class. She is my alter ego. She's the teacher for the day. Let's jump straight to this. Ladies, don't be mad. Y'all asked me, I produced. So usually, most people don't get it unless they see it. So I'm here. In this class, everybody is friends. You guys must be nice to each other. You must speak the way you want to be spoken to. There is no drama allowed in my class. You are allowed to bring your drinks, get comfortable, kick off your shoes, and let's begin. Now we're going to start at the top. Y'all listening? Number one. Read it. Someone read it out loud. You don't fight for me. That gets take that is the most misconstrued statement ever. The reason I say that is because <laughs> I have heard some of the craziest stories. When a girl says, you don't fight for me, it does not mean that she wants you to physically start picking fights with people. It don't mean that she wants you to pick fights with her. When a girl says, you don't fight for me, what we really mean, we want to know your intentions. And we want it to be made very transparent. The fight is the show of love, devotion that you have to your relationship. Fight ain't physical. Nobody wants to fight. Who wants to fight? I don't want to fight. Y'all want to fight? Okay. Now that we cleared that up, it can go way deeper than that. But I know, you know, we haven't done all of our 504 plans for this year. And there may be a couple of kids in the class with shorter attention spans. So we are gonna keep this short and sweet. Number two, you need to call me more. Fellas, fellas, when we say y'all need to call us more, that don't mean call us and hold the phone or call us and tell us, I'm just calling you because you told me to call you. That don't mean nothing. That's actually a little hurtful because now you're not calling because you want to call. You're calling because she told you to call which doesn't make the call special if you get what I'm saying. A lot of y'all do it. A lot of y'all do it. You will call your girl and be like, I'm just calling you because you told me I don't call you. Well, that's not an effort. You're only doing it because you were told to do it. That's not hot. Number three, call me when you get there. OMG, I swear, I don't think I've met anyone in a relationship that this has not been an issue. Call me when you get there. <sighs> it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up. And the reason it makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up is because from the time you walk out the door, 
with your partner to the time you're get going to where you're going, so many things can happen. Now, I'm going to just use the brothers, the African-American brothers who have it a little bit harder. You guys have to deal with racial profiling on the way to where you're going. You guys have to deal with what if someone don't like you? What if they, there's so many things that could happen. Drive-by shootings, uh, mistaken identities. But I think the first thing that comes to a guy's head when a girl say, call me when you get there. She trying to keep tabs on me. Don't nobody want to keep tabs on you? Hell, we don't even want to have to tell y'all to call us when you get there. It's something you should do. It should be automatically something in you, within your mind, within your head, within your heart. You know what? I want my girl to know I'm okay. So let me let her know that I made it here. But society has brainwashed everybody into feeling like if you call, you're a sucker. If you call, you... um. What's the term y'all use? Uh, you whipped and all that other stuff. You know, it, it, it can go on and on and on. And it's not even that deep and it's not even that serious. Sometimes y'all make things 10 times deeper than it ever needs to be. What sucks is you, it's hard not only for us to a thousand percent give unconditional love to you guys when everything is it has an ulterior motive behind it and I just think that's so jacked up in my class nothing is an ulterior motive and everything is a conversation do we understand that okay let's go on this is another one that I just can't take <laughs> I don't care where we eat. Now, I just had this conversation today with a good girlfriend of mine. When we say I don't care where we eat, it's because we want you guys. Sometimes you guys don't even realize just how sexy it is when you actually take the initiative and choose the restaurant. Choose the restaurant. Pick what it is we're going to eat. That's your moment for us to allow you to be a man and lead. We want, sometimes we want y'all to we want y'all to lead. Nobody's trying to take. That's the thing. Most dudes will be like, "She don't let me be a man." The minute we are allowing you to be a man, you don't step up to the plate. We want that. The minute we don't have the, we don't know what it is that we we say we don't know. Half the time we know what it is we want to eat. We want y'all to choose because we tired of choosing. We want you to do it. That's hot. Some of y'all need to understand this. Y'all 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 don't even understand how much ass y'all will get at the end of the damn day if you would just step up to the plate and take the initiative. Okay, y'all be blessed on that one, huh? Let it marinate. All right. Let's go on to this one. I need help. Now, I really got to speak. Hold on. Let, I'm not going to speak for nobody else on this one. Let me speak for me and me only. I take that back. I'm lying. God forgive me because I ain't a liar. Let me speak for a lot of us. A lot of times when we say we need help, it's not financial. The first thing dudes think when a girl say, I need help is, oh, she need dollars. No, she don't. What about moral support? What about that little push? What, what do you do when you see your girl down and her self-esteem starting to drop? Sometimes we just, we don't have the right way to say it. That's where 
you guys are supposed to pay attention to us and know us inside and out. You're supposed to know every intricate detail of your girl. I need help. 90% of women are not talking money. Now, there's a lot of chicks out there that, I mean, hands are probably out and they probably looking for a lot of handouts. I'm not speaking for those females. I'm speaking for the women, the go-getters, the I can do it on my own. That's not what we mean. We mean we need you to be right there behind us, holding us up with whatever the situation is. Every situation, you have you have to evaluate the situation. You have to see what's been lagging, what's been stressing her out, what's been frustrating her, what are the conversations about lately. Those are the things. And that one got a gold star. And the reason that one got a gold star is because I don't think there's a man on the face of this earth that even understands when that comes out of a woman's mouth. I need help. First thing they think, ooh, she asking me for a dollar. No, 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 no. You, it's a million other things you can do outside of handing over dollars. You have to look at the chick and base it off of the type of person she is. If she ain't never asked you for anything, then she don't need nothing. Moving right along because night school is almost over. Number six. Now I need somebody to shout that as loud as they can. I'm fine. When y'all ask us what's wrong and the first thing come on our, our mouth is I'm fine. If you know your mate, you know she lying through her damn teeth. Whatever happened, whatever the situation was, whatever, but we want y'all to care enough when y'all be when y'all give up and y'all be like, oh, okay. That is that's the wackiest response to I'm fine. Then nobody is saying. Let me let me make this very clear. Don't nobody want no ass kissing. No ass kissing? Because we don't kiss ass in this class. We're going to tell the truth and we're going to shame the devil. Period. Ain't no ass kissing. That's not how you make a relationship. Anybody got to kiss some ass? Get out the relationship, please. I'm telling you now. Ain't no ass kissing. But what we will do is have a bit more concern for what happened to irritate her in that way? Or what happened to make her shut down? Why is it that she feels that she's uncomfortable enough to admit to you what's really wrong with her? Does that make sense? I thought it would. Okay, now. Now, in all of that, let's go on here and sum this up. We don't usually want to have to tell you guys what it is that we need. I'll tell you why. Because when you've been paying attention, you already know. Nobody should know more about your girl than you. Nobody should be able to tell you more about your girl than you. That means you ain't doing your you ain't on your toes, and that's not cute. But I'm gonna tell you this, and this is a proven fact. Any professor, any psychiatrist can tell you this. Relationship counselor, true love never forgets, and it damn sure won't quit. When you quit, the minute you quit, you quit trying, you keep do you quit doing, you quit fixing, you quit working. 
your relationship is doomed from that moment. It is doomed. Most of y'all don't see it that way, but it is. That's where you open the door for other things. Now, if you can't fathom your girl with somebody else, those are the things that you don't stop doing because you already opened the door for it. You can't blame anybody else for it. You can't finger point. You can't say, oh, well, she didn't. Yes, she did. And usually 99% of the time, we already said something. That's y'all fault because you quit. That's your fault because you quit. The minute you quit, remember, and I'm not playing. Mark my words, your relationship is doomed. PowerPoints. Now, I'm not going to read these. I'm just going to look. I'm sure some of y'all will replay this. Now, I want y'all to sit back, relax, fix you a drink, and let it sink in what I said. We'll be back next week with another episode and another class. The class is called Deeper Than That. And the reason it's called Deeper Than That, because it's deeper than what society has taught you how we feel. You guys have your own analogy to what we, what, how we feel. And you know, some guys that get together in groups and girls are like this and girls are like that. You guys cannot lump us all in one category because every single girl has her own identity. There is no two girls on the face of this earth that are the same or that has the same wants or that has the same needs. That is not true. Now y'all be fabulous and I will see y'all next week.